Hello world, Chatty Dad one coming at you today or tonight. Um, I have got an unbelievable story here. Representative Alan Grayson investigates the Federal Reserve. Um, listen to this. This is uh, huh? Wow. Listen to this. Bear with me one second. Okay, here we go. Mr. Chairman, uh, um, Inspector Coleman, you're the Inspector for General of the Federal Reserve, right? Okay. That's correct. Have you done any investigations concerning the Federal Reserve's role in deciding not to save Lehman Brothers, which led to shockwaves and went through the entire financial system? Um, in that particular area, you know, I don't generally comment on specific investigations, but we do not currently have an investigation in that particular area. All right. What about the $1 trillion plus in expansion of the Federal Reserve's balance sheet since last September? Have you conducted any investigations regarding that? We, right now we have a, um, it's called, we call it a review. And uh, right, if you could term an investigation, they have different uh, connotations. So we are actually conducting a fairly high-level review of the various lending facilities collectively, which would include, um, you know, the TALF, um, a variety of the different programs that are in process. So we're looking at them at a fairly high level to identify risk. Well, I understand that, but we're talking about events that started unfolding eight months ago. Have you reached any conclusions about the Fed expanding its balance sheet by over a trillion dollars since last September? We have not yet reached any conclusions. Do you know who received that money? For the... We're, we're in the process right now of, of doing our review and... Um, right. Right, but you're the Inspector General. My answer, my question is specifically, do you know who received that $1 trillion plus that the Fed extended and put on its balance sheet since last September? Do you know the identity of the recipients? I do not know. We have not looked at that specific area at this particular point on those reviews. They don't care who got it. They got it. And what about... Um, Bloomberg's report that there are trillions of dollars in off-balance sheets transactions that the Federal Reserve has entered into since last September. Are you familiar with those off-balance sheet transactions? You know, I, I think it may be um, important at this point, too, just to bring up um, a certain aspect related to our jurisdiction. And just to, to clarify perhaps some of my earlier uh, comments, we are the Inspector General for the Board of Governors, and we have direct oversight over board programs and operations, and are also able to look at board delegated functions to the reserve banks, as well as um, it's o the board's oversight and supervision of the reserve banks. We do not have jurisdiction to directly go out and, and audit reserve bank activities specifically. Nevertheless, in our lending facilities project, for example, we are looking at the, the board's oversight over the pro program and uh, to the extent that extends out to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. It's like Eric Holder well, investigating himself. Here in front of me, and it says, among other things, that it's your responsibility to conduct and supervise audits and investigations relating to the programs and operations of your agency. That's correct. So I'm asking you if your agency has, in fact, according to Bloomberg, extended $9 trillion in credit, which, by the way, works out to $30,000 for every single man, woman, and child in this country. I'd like to know, if you're not responsible for investigating that, who is this? We actually we have responsibility for the Federal Reserve's programs and operations, audits, to conduct audits and investigations in that area. Um, in terms of who's responsible for investigating, would you mind repeating the question one more time? Unreal. What have you done to investigate the off-balance sheet transactions 
conducted by the Federal Reserve, which according to Bloomberg, now total $9 trillion in the last eight months. I'll have to look specifically at that Bloomberg article. I am not, um, I, I don't know if I have actually seen that. Before. Watch the chick in the black hair whisper the to her. The question is, have you done any investigation or auditing of off balance sheet transactions conducted by the Federal Reserve? At this point, we're at the very, we're conducting our lending facility project at a fairly high level and have not gotten to a specific level of detail to really be in a position to respond to your question. Have you conducted any investigation or auditing of the losses that the Federal Reserve has experienced on its lending since last September? We're still in the process of conducting that review. So until we actually you know, go out and, and she's getting her orders from the guy behind her. Position to really respond to to the specific question. So, are you telling me that nobody at the Federal Reserve is keeping track on a regular basis of the losses that it incurs on what is now a two trillion dollar portfolio? I don't know if you're you're telling me that there you're missing that there's losses. I'm just saying that we're not. Until we actually look at the program and have the information, we are not in a position to say whether there are losses or to respond in any other way to that. Mr. Chairman, my, my time is up, but I have to tell you honestly, I am shocked to find out that nobody at the Federal Reserve, including the Inspector General, is keeping track of this. All right, y'all. You heard this crap. Unbelievable. No wonder we're in the mess we're in. We've got people that's just losing nine trillion dollars, and it's no big deal. They don't know where it's gone or what's happened. Um, anyway, thought this was an interesting, uh, huh, interesting, infuriating at the same time. I hope uh, nobody choked on any food while they were listening to this. I hope everybody's doing well. And uh, we've got to get rid of the Federal Reserve. We've got to end the Fed now. This is this is insane. I know this didn't happen today, but, you know, we've got to get rid of them now. They've gone way too far, just like the rest of the whole thing. This, uh, this fruit has become spoiled, and it's time to throw it out and replant the seeds that, that are good and uh, grow a new tree so we can have fresh fruit again. I hope everybody's doing good. Good night. God bless. God help us all. Never give up your guns. Your rights go right along with them. Buy all the ammo you can if, where, when, and how you can. And uh, hang in there. We're we're all going to get through this with with each other's help. This is Chatty Dad One, over and out.